You're watching Fios One News in the Lower Hudson Valley. Only on channels 501 and 1. Only on Verizon Files TV. A uh, Rockland County man who has Asperger's syndrome and has battled serious medical conditions says he's finally finding relief, but not because of pills. Instead, medical marijuana is the source. Fast West's Christina Chiarelli has the story. Last year, Andrew Greenspan says you wouldn't have found him in his recording studio. At first, it was the back fractures and then neuropathic pain in my lower half of my body. And now it's developed to my entire body. The unbelievable, and I'll use the word nightmare, that we went through as a family. At 18, Andrew was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, an autism spectrum disorder. Then in 2013, the 24-year-old suffered from two broken vertebrae and severe nerve pain that was misdiagnosed for almost two years. He was in and out of hospitals. I was going to physical therapy all the time for many years before, so it was just... It was to the point that we had to get some x-rays, and even the x-rays we had locally here didn't show any fractures. At one point, he had what I refer to as a chemical cocktail of prescriptions. Opioids and narcotics that didn't always work. Andrew also had three complex surgeries that did nothing to cure him. He had a series of somewhere between 20 to 50 shots. The needles were outrageously long, and they didn't work. Finally, in January, a doctor diagnosed Andrew with autonomic neuropathy. Now he's back at the piano. I'm at the point now where medical marijuana has done something that I never thought I'd be able to do, and that's to taper down off of crazy kind of doses and medicines. Finding relief from pain, seizures, and convulsions. I had one a couple weeks ago and I took a couple of puffs of the vaporizer and it went away within minutes. Andrew was a licensed patient at a dispensary in White Plains and says it's changed his life. In Nyack, Christina Curelli, Fios, One News. Wow, amazing story. Yeah, it's very good for him. Absolutely. Well, a burglar breaks into a restaurant, but it's not the cash she's interested in. But he decides to steal instead. What's up next?